Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And today we're taking a look at some hard use tactical folders from Crudo Knives with their own cool system of opening methods. Let's check them out. So Crudo Knives was founded in 2006 by Louis Crudo, a martial arts expert with decades of experience with urban weapons and defense tactics. It's his vision that guides the design of these knives, and it allows them to perform exactly as needed. And you'll see that with the opening mechanisms of these knives, which are all part of how they perform under pressure. Of course, if they're going to be useful, people are going to have to be able to afford them. And to get these knives in at an attainable price point, they are imported from China, but the quality is very good, with hands-on QC happening right here in America. All of these knives feature similar construction with stainless steel frame locks and flat ground blades of 9CR18MOV, roughly similar in performance to 440C. That steel works well for the tactical mission of these knives, but what I'm most impressed by is the build quality. That's where most of your money is going with these knives, and there's a refinement and solidity that inspires trust in the tool. All of the knives in front of me today feature Crudo's thumb wedge, and this is just one of the options for opening this blade. And I think it takes a lot of its cues from many of the Emerson models out there, but it puts Crudo's own spin on it. It works both as an ambidextrous opener, much like a typical spine-mounted thumb disc, as well as enabling simultaneous deployment when you draw the knife from your pocket, much like Emerson's wave feature. And that opening method works with both hands either, because we have a machined pocket clip that's reversible, with screws and an insert to put in whatever side you aren't using, which helps clean up the look a bit. And when that knife is open, that thumb wedge even makes a nice thumb rest. You can also use the comfortable flipper tab to open the knife. And with ball bearings in the pivot, the blade opens solidly and quickly. These knives also feature a prominent front flipper, which provides yet another opening style, but this is actually integral to the tactical applications of the knife when it's closed. That protruding tab can act much like the point of a coubaton for concentrating the force of a strike to one small area, magnifying its effect. The model I've been holding while I show you the opening methods is the Carcinoten, with carbon fiber inlays and an Eastern Tonto style blade, flat ground with a nice swedge. And this shape with a slight amount of belly makes it a little more versatile than an American style Tonto with a straight point. We also have the Dow folding cleaver, and it's just as good for self-defense as it would be for everyday usage. It's got carbon fiber overlays on both sides with a full machined pattern. It creates traction and looks fantastic. We've got two variants of this, one with a shiny bolster and a satin finished blade, as well as a matching black finished bolster and blade variant. And that blade looks wicked, but it's comfortable too, with a crown spine and a nice finger choil for getting up right behind the edge. The Vice model also features a crown spine with a broad blade and a concave clip point, so you still get an acute tip. And with the way the grip is oriented, the tip is angled down for maximum effectiveness and easy aiming when you're presenting the point. Like all of these models here, this knife just feels solid. Part of that credit goes to the stainless steel frame lock that makes sure there is no blade play. And they even feature a nice touch in the form of an internal over-travel stop plate to keep you from bending the lock bar too far. The Drastic features a shape that's more historically inspired, but with just as much style. This dagger-looking blade is inspired by the Roman Gladius short sword. It's ground both ways, but it only features a single sharpened edge. This knife is going to make a ferocious cutter with a nice amount of recurve and a prominent fuller for lateral strength. Lastly, and my favorite of this bunch, is the Exceed, a tactical gentleman's knife that throws a little style on top of the combat prowess. It features machined stainless steel handles with a nice comfortable radius, and we get a practical drop point blade with some interesting machining. It basically features a graceful fuller near the spine of the blade, that makes it a little bit different than every other drop point out there. If you need a solid, no holds barred tactical folder, these options from Crudo Knives would not be a bad bet. The materials may not be exotic, but it more than makes up for it with build quality and refinement that usually costs even more. Be sure to let us know what you think of these models down in the comments, and in the meantime, to get your hands on one, click the link in the description below to head over to knifecenter.com.